welcome to Northern Fell Running and welcome to the Goat Reckies part two. Now, first of all, why are we doing these Reckies again? They weren't very accurate. The first Recky, the route changed. Um, the second Recky was accurate. The third Recky we didn't actually complete because Lee was tapering for the main race. So we're going to redo it again. We're going to do it properly. Today we're running from Ingram. We're here. There's Ingram Village Hall. That's where you're going to register on the race. We're running from Ingram to Barraburn. It's about 20 miles. So here we go. Where the start line? It will be on this path here. So, are we ready, Lee? Let's go. Straight out of the, the start line. It's uphill, it is. Lee. It's uphill for about two mile. Um, what I remember most about this point here was totally regretting starting running in an Icarus jacket. Because it was quite cold, but you don't stay cold for long at the start of this. You're literally into it like that. So if I can give you any tip whatsoever about the start is don't start nice and warm, start cold. What is it? Be bold, start cold? That's the one. We've just left that trail. You're now gonna pass two local hills, Cochrane Pike and Weather Ken. Uh, sorry, Weather Hill, my mistake. Weather well, Ken's coming later. Weather well, Ken's later. <laughs> So obviously today's video is just to give you an idea of the terrain that you are going to experience. Lee's just saying he uh, fell over a couple of times on this section in the dark <laughs> it's quite steep going down that's hard to see the ferns are pretty high we're now going off through a nice bit of uh, forest I wouldn't say it's a well trodden path but you can see it <laughs> now we've just exited this forest and I've just spied a landmark that I thought would be quite interesting for you to see that there is Cunyon Crags that there is Dunmore Hill they are two of the last three hills you will climb on the goat you'll have just climbed Hedge up hill, which is slightly behind Dunmore. You'll climb Dunmore, down to Cunyon Crags. This here is Ingram Valley. There'll be one more hill to get over called Brough Law, and then you're home. So that, if you get there, you've made it. It's a bit of a shame that nobody's going to see this, isn't it, Lee? Hey, everybody, just a quick message, direct from Cold Brew. Uh, just to remind you to be respectful when you're out on the route, you're crossing working farmland, going past farmers' homes, things like that. So just be respectful when you're out there. Also that time of the year when the race happens, there is shooting parties happening. Uh, last year there was a little diversion around a shooting party. So don't worry, you won't be crossing any uh, lines of fire. You will be diverted around, but just to make you aware of those things. Okay, cheers.
really we should let let the people know that this this is the start of the hurt yeah this is Salt Road that we've just come off there's a marshal point here um, it's also the return marshal point for when you come back off Kusha but they're going to direct you over this way towards the, the ravine there towards Weather Cairn you're going to go up the ravine across the ridge, ridge to Weather Cairn and then meet your way to the Dodd but this is this is not a nice bit this is where I had my first wobble um, but yeah I'll do a bit time lapse and you can have a look at the terrain so we're following this little ravine up where I can, passing a nice little waterfall at the moment. It's a lot nicer in the daytime. <laughs> You're not allowed to mention that it's in the dark anymore. This did I mention it was in the dark? This is where Angry Lee came out on this climb to be honest. Is it? Yeah. You didn't like it? No, I didn't like it one bit, not this bit. Right, that hill was not fun. I'm not gonna complain. I complained a lot on the first right. All I'm gonna say is I don't enjoy that sort of terrain. It's very, very slow progress. You feel like you're getting nowhere. And uh, we'll go through it now, really. Top, yeah. Look at that view, man. Yeah, we'll go through all the cack. Oh, so we get a bit of height, a bit of height now. So it's a bit buggy here now, guys. Uh, I have to say. It's still not anywhere near as bad as what you're going to face when you drop off Cheviot on the way to Bloody Bush Edge. There is a section there of a couple of miles which is just horrific. Um, so this isn't too bad to do. You're certainly going to get wet feet though. Okay, so this section's a bit more boggy. Right on the top here. The trig point is just above Lee's head. Oh, you are kidding. Yes! Yes! Oh, but I still got you. Quality. <laughs> right, guys, at 11 and a half miles. We are going over. I just ramped this hill. Over that side. Down the dod. And back up over there. There's Lee running off, making a time lapse. See the contrast in the weather from just a, about an hour, an hour and a half ago. Like what Green was saying, you never know what to expect around here. This is the Dodd by the way. So when you're here, it's about a half marathon in. Very, very steep descent, hard on the knees. Be careful of your knees, I should know. Um, We've just dropped down off the Dodd, um, about 14 and a bit miles in. You end up on this lovely stretch of road for a little bit to give your legs a little reprieve from all the tussocks. But then shortly after, or well you can see it there now, there's a path. It's hard going that it is, section. it is. There's a path that runs up there. We are going to traverse this climb to the top and continue on to Barrow. Let's go. Let's go. Right, here we go. Animal encounter. Good 
got to take your time around these cows guys it's always worth keeping the camera on when Lee's near animals he's got this sort of like magnetism haven't you Lee? Right guys, nice little visual reference point for you here. We're going to go down here, down that hill, we're going to follow that road, then we are going to cross over these two hills. On the other side of that hill is Barraburn. That is checkpoint one. You've nearly got, you nearly made it. 20, 21 miles or so I reckon. So not long to go now. Some really lovely bits down here, guys. Very, very peaceful valley. As I said in a previous clip, we're on this road for about half a mile before we tackle this. <laughs> Climb to my right. I have done it before. It's horrific. Not gonna lie. This is just what you want in Italy. After like 20 miles of running. Two massive hills to get over. There's plenty more to come. There isn't. <coughs> but thankfully, not today. Well, this is the last climb. Get over here, it's Barabur. Very, very last for the day. Well, we've cleared that hill. We're on our way down to Barraburn now. This will be the end of our recce for the day. We'll do a little roundup when we get to the bottom. I just wanted to show you this. Well, it's really started to rain quite heavy now. But anyway, we are we're finished. It's 21 and a half miles we've done a day. 4,700 foot of climb. Oh, I can't even be bothered, right? I'm walking through a river. <laughs> it took us about five and a half hours to get here. So if you want to take that off you as an average pace, I'm an average runner. You can figure out roughly how long you would take. So that's Recky 1, Ingram to uh, Barabin. Barabin. Thank you, Lee. Next video is going to be from Barabin to Checkpoint 2, which is at Bleak Hawk. So thanks for watching, Lee. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>